Kitchens YouTubeville. It's a I forgot my intro. It's what did I used to say? It's Boondoggle Anna, aka Boondoggle Bliss. That's how long it's been since I freaking made a video. And boy, have I tried. There's I like started to make videos so many times and then something happened. Last Wednesday, same thing. I was like just about to record and John's all. Um, we're at the school, back to school night, remember? I'm like, oh my god, I forgot Levi's back to school night! So yeah, that, mm -hmm, yeah. Plus, I've lost my voice and I'm slowly getting it back. That's why it sounds kind of funky. Or, as uh, some people say, kind of sexy, but I think it's disgusting. So, anyway, I'm gonna do a quick haul video. Well, it's actually not gonna be quick because I have a lot of stuff. It's from the 50% off day. Uh, sale at Goodwill when was it like last week and I haven't I haven't done much with this stuff because I knew I'm gonna make a haul video for you so it's just like lying around everywhere I do have it in categories by um, item I think because I have some no never mind it's not organized let's whatever let me do dresses first let's just get started um, if my boy starts giving out, I might make two videos because there's a lot of stuff and we'll see how it goes. This is the first day where I can actually <clears throat> speak without my voice breaking out and going away. I literally could not speak for a few days. It was like nothing would come out. It was like awesome for John and Levi. It was horrible for me. Nonetheless, let's get started. Um, once again, I sell on Poshmark and Mercari, eBay, off and on. I'm kind of on a bad streak with eBay right now. I'm not digging them at this moment. I've had some returns after like a month, and eBay just like, yeah, go ahead, auto accept the return. I'm like, no, I don't want this because you don't like it. You bought it, you need to like it or whatever. I just, I'm having a difficult time with eBay and I think there's a lot of mean people on there and a lot of scams and I know the people that sell on eBay say that about Poshmark, um, whatever. I don't care. I've just been having bad experiences. So uh, for now, I'm just saying I'm a Poshmark um, Mercari seller off and on on eBay. That's that. Um, now also with my haul videos, I'm not going to go into like where I'm going to put it on, where I'm going to sell it, for how much. Because you guys know how that is. And half of this stuff is probably going in my closet anyway. So just look at this as a pure haul video. And that's that. Okay, Betsy Johnson. I got this Betsy Johnson dress. Isn't it cute? It's like that scuba material. And it's new with tags. And I come home and I'm like ready to put it on. There's two holes on each side of the hips at the seam, so it's very fixable. Not a problem there. However, it's going into one of those piles that I need to fix piles. So off it goes. I'm very disappointed. It's such a cute skirt. I got this dress. It's a free people dress. And I already listed on Poshmark and Mercari. So um, I hope this one sells pretty quick. It's made out of that tweed fabric. So it's from far away, it looks kind of like it, but then you come close to it and you're like, oh, oh, this is a high quality dress. Nice. So free people, watch out. I already listed this dress because I'm super excited because it's by Dolan. You guys know Dolan for anthropology and I have lots of cute stock photos of this. So I was eager to list it. It's on Poshmark. I don't know if it's on Mercari or not, um, but I hope this one sells. I saw some comps on it on Poshmark for north of 60, so I'm kind of pricing it around there. And then as those clar uh, closet clear out sale things come, I'm just going to discount and discount until it sells. Uh, what is this? This is a Zara dress. Um, I like Zara. Now, I don't recommend you pick up all of Zara. Actually, I'm going to do a post on Instagram with the Zara companies, just like I did with Johnny Was. And you guys found that really helpful. Like these are all the Johnny was companies, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to do the same thing with Zara. And, and if there's any other brands where you're like, I'm confused. What is the best line for, for this? Someone asked me about Tahari. So I'm going to do Tahari because you know, there's Ellie Tahari and there's T Tahari. Then there's Tahari and people don't know the difference in how to price. If there are any brands that you'd like for me to explore all the diffusion brands that are beneath it and you know, is this line of 
of, um, of this brand aimed at the more mature audience or is this for the young ones? Because you know each brand has all of that segmentation that markets to specific groups, specific income levels and all of that. So like I said, if there's anything, let me know in the comments down below. This is Zara and it's Zara Basic. That is their biggest line, the one that um, is probably the most popular and the one that's most resold. Uh, nonetheless, I pick up dresses. Zara dresses sell good for me. Other items, hit and miss. So here we go, Zara. <clears throat> this is a lovely, lovely black dress by Maga Shoni. Maga Shoni Mag, also known as Mag. Uh, a brand that is really expensive, but it sells for almost peanuts on Poshmark. Um, but still I pick it up just because it's so classic and beautiful and it costs so much new. I always think maybe there's going to be a, you know, that one buyer that understands the value of this brand and they're going to be able to spend 56 bucks on it. We'll see. I lo I, I sold the sweater 60 something bucks, uh, last month on Poshmark, um, from that brand and I got it for like a freaking dollar. So, you know, once in a while I'll pick those brands up. I was not going to talk about resale prices. Hit me on my head. Hit me on my head. Ann Taylor. A lovely wrap Ann Taylor dress. I will always pick up wrap dresses. Wrap dresses are so popular. Of course made popular by the fabulous Diane Fustenberg, Fursterberg, whatever. She's the one that made it. Um, this is a classic Ann Taylor. Not an Ann Taylor loft. Not an Ann Taylor uh, da, 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 uh, discount. What is that thing called? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ann Taylor, whatever. Not the cheaper one. Actual Ann Taylor. So I picked it up. You never know. And it has a cute pattern. It's that jersey fabric. Um, I love it. Here we go. New with tags. You know, I like new with tags by Heartloom. Lovely white dress. Mm -hmm. Look at that. A little portrait back with beautiful, beautiful um, lacy outlines. I think this is a gorgeous dress. Uh, like I said, half of this is going to my closet, half of it is going to resale. I don't know which one that is going to. ASOS dress. Now don't forget, everything I got here is 50% off at Goodwill, so I paid anywhere between three to five dollars for it, even lower on some items. Um, so just remember that. ASOS, just a basic ASOS dress, very modest, modern design, just ASOS. And ASOS, I, I pick up things that have party categories. So you know there's part, isn't there ASOS party? Or there was, I don't know, I'm just programmed to pick up ASOS, ASOS sells, so that's that. It's a hip brand. Ooh, this might be mine. I did put on some weight over the holidays. So I'm gonna, I might actually do something with, with you guys where I say, okay, I wanna lose 15 pounds and I'm gonna weigh in and show you guys my weigh-ins every morning for two weeks to see how I can get my weight down. I don't know, I'm just talking. But um, I, once I lose a little bit of poundage, I think I'll be able to fit in this lovely dress. Look at that, so classic. It's Shawnee, it's a high-end brand not really valued uh, from the Poshmark consumer based on the pricing. eBay, I think a little bit more. Shawnee is a really, really nice brand and this is a beautiful, beautiful dress. <sighs> I don't know yet. I don't know yet, you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. And a little lucky brand. I had to get me some lucky brand. Now that lucky brand is a party category. If you guys noticed on Poshmark, Urban Outfitters is out. Lucky Brand is in. So this is uh, Lucky Brand. Lovely. Um, it's kind of like a mix with cotton and um, whatchamacallit, linen. Nice dress with a four-leaf clover. Lucky, lucky brand. Lucky dress. Uh, I know that's going to do well on Poshmark. For sure. I got this dress because Valentine's Day is coming and it's red. It's plus size. It's by Eshakti, Eshaktai. That's the custom label. You can put in all your measurements and have custom clothing sent to you. Um, this is one of those. It's such a pretty basic dress. I really wanted 
uh, to put that on for my plus size parties. I'm getting a few more listings in the uh, plus size category for Poshmark so I can participate in those parties. Here is, hold on, my screen is going dark. Um, Adriana Papel, Adriana Papel, yeah. Uh, black dress, you know, little black dress, just cute. Probably was really cheap, so that's why I picked it up because it's not a brand I go after. It must have been super cheap. Enough said. Oh, I love this dress, you guys. It's by Elle. Elle is sold at uh, Kohl's. And it has lemons. It kind of reminds me of the Kate Spade lemon theme she had going on in the past. And the stripes, so very classic. Made of that really thick, nice fabric. I think this is going to do well, regardless of the brand. Oh, this is 100% silk Tommy Bahama dress. Now, this is for a more mature audience. So this might have to wait out and go to eBay if I ever get back on there. Um, but this is a really pretty basic dress, okay? Tommy Bahama, high quality. Don't think it'll do well on Poshmark at all. I would more likely try Mercari and eBay. All right, Wow Couture. I don't know. I just grabbed it because I saw the embroidery. You guys know how I am with embroidery. I don't even know if that's like a shirt. Is it supposed to be a kid's dress? No idea. It's adorable. I'll try to put it on and see what it looks like and how I'm supposed to sell it. Uh, Eliza J. Sheath Dress. Um, I got this because it was probably really cheap. That's why I got it. Although I like Eliza J. anyway. Uh, but this is a 12 uh, professional career dress. Really pretty. I just have to uh, steam it a little bit, make it look cute. But, you know, it's just a cute dress. It probably was like a dollar or two. That's why I got it. Another ASOS fabulous dress. I like this. It's semi-sheer. Um, Empire waist. And it has the little drawstring thing. So you probably have to wear something underneath it. Maybe a bathing suit. Maybe just a... Um, cute little modesty little dress thing underneath. You can wear it over. It's ASOS. It's cute. It's versatile. I'm picking it up. <clears throat> oh yeah, Max Studio. Max Studio dresses are so stinking cute. Check this out. Little sweater dress. I gotta hurry up and put it on while it's still cold before, you know, people stop buying beautiful clothing for Winter, I get sad. I love fall and winter fashion. It's so cute. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was just talking about this lady. Diane Von Furstenberg. Now, it's not a wrap dress. And generally, if it's not a wrap dress, it doesn't do as well as, well as I'm finding uh, as well um, uh, in the resale market. But let's see. What is this made out of? If it's a good fabric, I'll charge, charge it. But I'll charge it. I'll charge it up. I'll price it up. But I don't know even what it's made of. Oh, here we go. Ooh, and it has the thingy. That's that's how you verify if it's a real Diane von Furstenberg. It's a Epana dress. I love the fact that you have a style name. So you can Google it and you can see the, um, the stock photos. Even though it might not be the same exact color or whatever, at least you can get the shape um uh, displayed on a female silhouette so you can use that oh i was supposed to what am i supposed to be looking for fabric oh fabric is on here viscose silk yeah okay i mean it's you know partially silk it's cute one shoulder basic cocktail dress um i wasn't going to talk about how i'm going to price it i'm going to price it probably it's $60 category and see what happens. That is, if I don't keep it, ladies and gentlemen, I might end up keeping it. Rebecca Taylor. Rebecca Taylor is a newer brand to me. It's a brand that yields high profits on Poshmark. I don't know much about it. I don't know how this is going to work out. It's such a basic little dress. But when I see Rebecca Taylor sold items, they always fetch a good penny. So decided to venture into this and see, see if I can get in anything. If I could get in on the action, 100% silk. That's probably why I got it. By the brands like, uh, I don't know much about it, but the fabric is good, I will pick it up. So silk, Rebecca Taylor Brown dress. <clears throat> All right, what is this? It's another sweater dress. 
six crisp days. Never heard of it. Never, never. Some boutique brand. I have no idea. Maybe it's a uh, something that sells on Anthro. No clue. I liked it because it's a sweater. I guess it could be a tunic too, some leggings or a dress, but it has that asymmetrical cut in front. And I think that's very flattering for ladies that have things they want to hide a little bit. So <clears throat> that's that. What is this? Mm. No RN number. So it's probably one of those China imports through um, the website. So it wasn't something that was meant to be sold in US of A. Miss Luke. So I think that's a play on words with Miss Sook. Someone came up with Miss Luke. I don't know, I'm making that up. But it's um, brand new with tags. It kind of has an 80s geometrical color thing going on. It's warm. It's like wool, cute sweater. You know, I, I don't know why I picked it up. It's cute, I guess, to me. I don't know. All right, we have a maxi dress, dress dress by Peter Stone for Design Nation. Design Nation is Kohl's. So that's a Kohl's collaboration uh, line and it's new with tags. It's cute, I bought this with me in mind, but because it has tags, I might end up selling it. Brand new, it was $78. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see how I look in it. We'll see how I look in it. I might do a lookbook and we'll decide if I can pull it off or not. What is this? This is Danny and Nicole dress. Eh, just your average whatever. I bought this because ever since the holidays, I had a little tummy, you know, calmer. So this is one of those dresses that's flattering if you're trying to hide something. So I bought this with me in mind. I might wear, wear it a little bit and then sell it because I'm not going back to that weight again. Right? We have, um, this is Michael Kors. Michael Kors, extra small. I just really love the, the beads, the graduated bead work here, how it's like, I, I just really like it. I really like it. If, this, if it's too small as a dress for me, I'm like gonna cut it off and make it a sweater or something. I don't know, I think it's so pretty. It's pretty. Okay, what else? A few more dresses and I'll be done with dresses. Uh, this is J. Crew linen dress. It's really pretty because it has this little knotty thingy here and it has a little gold like metallic thread going in and out. So it's not just a, you know, linen dress. It's like more dressy so you can pull it off um, in the evening. I really like this. It's pretty. <clears throat> Oh, we got a free people dress. Yes, free people. One of those alternative tags. A little different than what you're used to with the little copper taggy. Um, but it's a pretty linen dress, empire waist, ties on top. Uh, really cute summer dress. I'm probably going to hold off just a little bit before I post it. Uh, I'm going to list all my winter stuff first really, really fast to see if I can catch the winter crowd. Free people, I already listed this dress. It's a paisley, cute little flowy dress. Found stock photos fairly quickly. So that was awesome. This I already listed as well. I was really excited about uh, finding this one. It's Derek Lamb 10 Crosby, not Derek Lamb Design Nation, not Derek Lamb for Target. It's like the Derek Lamb 10 Crosby, which is the address of the original store. Um, New with tag size two, orange. It is so pretty. I know in here it's coming up as like red, but it's really orange and it has these cute little hook closures, you know, kind of like if you know, if you like kind of do this thing, someone might get a peekaboo kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about, right? Um, really pretty, ruffled, has this peplum feel to it and just flowy and pretty. Um, that's one of those things I priced really high and then eventually over time I drop down, but I am waiting for a special buyer. I'm okay sitting on things like that and waiting because I know a buyer will come. Show me your moo moo. 
Show me your Moomoo shirt. Very pretty Hawaiian hibiscus uh, tunic top or dress. Uh, Show me your Moomoo is a great brand, obviously. Um, if you guys don't know, go on Poshmark, go to sold listings and look up Show Me Your Moo Moo and you will see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I, that's the only one I've ever found of Show Me Your Moo Moo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a pink skater dress. <clears throat> I am really torn on this. Maybe someone out there who's watching right now can help me authenticate. So this is Pink P. It has all the right, all the right everything, right? However, half of the dresses on Poshmark that are from Victoria's Secret Pink have an extra P and half of them don't. So I kind of don't know, is this authentic or not authentic? I don't know enough about, about this to really say if it is or it isn't. If any of you out there know, help, help a girl out. Help a girl out. Okay. Ugh, still doing okay. I'll do a few more, few more things. Let me show you the stuff I want to post for Valentine's Day really quick. My throat is starting to hurt. <clears throat> so one of the things I found, which I'm really, really excited about, is a Ann Taylor, Ann Taylor skirt and jacket set. Yeah, it's a set and it's such a pretty color. You know, it's too small. Well, I mean, I can fit it just like I'll have a muffin top, but I can fit it. I already tried it on. That was like the first thing I tried on. The jacket looks fantastic, right? The jacket's so cute, but it's a set. Oh, it's so cute. So yeah, Valentine's Day at the office, I would be wearing this. Fortunately, I already have a really cute outfit but if I didn't I'd be I'd be pulling off that muffin top for sure but this is so adorable you guys I'm definitely gonna <clears throat> post this as soon as I can for all those ladies that take Valentine's Day for serious for serious <clears throat> next one is another set new with tags to Hari Arthur Levine another skirt and jacket set. Yes. Like I found them next to each other. I'm like, oh my God, how perfect is that? So cute. So cute. Hold on, let me see if I can zip this sucker up. Eh. I suck at zippers. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll sell it. Some lucky lady's gonna this is going to get this beautiful skirt set. Okay, what else, ladies and gentlemen, will I show you? Let me show you a few skirts. <clears throat> a few cute ones that I'm excited about. Let's see. Uh, God, there's so many, actually. It's so hard to pick here. Oh, let me show you this one, too. And whatever I don't show you today, I'll show you tomorrow when I get my voice back. We have a Nanette Lepore skirt with sequins. Check this out. It is so beautiful. And it's Nanette Lepore. Like, Nanette Lepore is probably my favorite, one of my favorites, let's not be kidding, one of my favorite clothing lines. And I gotta get my hands on that INC Nanette Lepore uh, collaboration stuff. I haven't gotten anything yet. But anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful skirt with sequins, formal, lovely, can't go wrong. This is White House Black Market. It's my skirt, which I now can't fit into. So I'm like, huh, let's see if someone else wants it. So I'm gonna see if I can sell it. I might not at the last moment because I think it's so unique with this whole lattice work, the faux leather white and metallic. I mean, this might be worth waiting for and not selling. We'll see, we'll see. <clears throat> okay. What is this? Talbot's, Talbot's uh, skirt. It's just pretty. I just, I was thinking of eBay when I, when I bought this. It must've been really cheap because I normally don't buy Talbot's. <clears throat> what is this? J. Crew, J. Crew skirt. So here it looks kind of eh, but check this out. 
Isn't that adorable? That's actually on the back. Um, I would probably end up wearing it in the front, but it's, um, you can't see it from here because the, the lighting, but it's blue. It's like a muted blue color skirt, J. Crew, uh, whatever. Okay, moving on. Trina Turk. Trina Turk is a great brand, does pretty good on Poshmark, hip brand. This is adorable. Gingham uh, pattern, layered. What, what is this made of? Like cotton, what? Hopefully cotton. Oh, it's wool. It's wool and polyamide. Even better. It's a wool skirt, 80% wool. Oh my God, it's so cute. Yeah, I will do a lookbook with this. This is adorable, isn't it? I just don't wear fit and flare kind of dresses or circle skirts because I have big legs and it just, it's not flattering, you know? And last but not least, cute blush pink, J. Crew, black label, uh, really nice. Yep. Yeah, I already found uh, stock photos of this one, so it's going to be uh, fun to post, list, whatever. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this, uh, the rest of the skirts for another time because my, my voice is giving up. Okay, few jackets. Let me show you a few jackets because I'm excited. Hold on. What was, I gonna, what was I most excited about? Oh, yeah. Bowden. I found a Bowden trench coat. New. Brand new. Bowden trench coat. Unfortunately, it's size 14. So way too big for me. I already tried it on, but so nice. Just in perfect condition. Bowden trench coat. Bowden does is one of the brands that has style numbers, so it's fairly easy to find stock photos. I am dying to list this. I'm going to get some money out of that one. I'm going to squeeze it. I'm going to squeeze it. Uh, what else do we got here? I continue to buy utility type jackets in olive green. Um, I sell them fairly quickly and oftentimes on Mercari. They sell for some reason. By the time I get to Poshmark, I've already sold them on Mercari. So less work for me. Um, what else? Goodness gracious. St. John. St. John. Is this a St. John Sport? St. John Sport jacket. Um, probably better market for it is on eBay, but nonetheless, I try them, um, everywhere. Hit and miss, waiting for the right buyer who will see the value of this jacket. Uh, what else? Uh, True Meaning, really pretty. Um, there's a lot of really cute jackets on sale, um, by this brand from Poshmark. Is it Meaning? Yeah, I thought it was Man Meaning, um, but check this out. Look at that lovely design. Beads and frillies and embroidery and more beading. So pretty. I'm thinking St. Patrick's Day. I'm thinking spring, Easter. Uh, such a beautiful color combination, isn't it? Okay, that's all I'm excited about with jackets. No, there's more, but oh yeah, let me show you this one. We just talked about a Maga Stoney, Maga would, you know, that brand. This is one of those items for, um, by Mag. So they have the different lines, Mag, and it's 100% wool, size six. And it's this lovely overcoat, open, no, um, no buttons, but dude, it's a luxury. It's a luxury, darling, if you know what I mean. Um, it has an awesome belt. I just want to lay in it, but it's just too luxurious to lay around the house with Gigi's hair accumulating all over it, so i got to sell it before that happens. But it's so pretty timeless, right? Because the pattern is such a classic pattern. Um, Styles very basic and classic. So yeah, that's gonna do well okay, Let me show you a few shirts and then I have to stop <clears throat> Okay, um, I got a lucky brand <clears throat> a Lucky brand uh, sweater 
mixed knit type of thing. Here's a crochet. Here's something else. Here's something else. Really cute. Very boho. I'm looking forward to selling that. Um, it's definitely the the time to sell Lucky. Lucky's getting a little bit more steam than before. This is a J. Crew sweatshirt. <clears throat> I've sold quite a few of these where they have the um, inset design in the front and then just the basic color um, on the side. Those are pretty cute, pretty cute sweaters. Another Stella McCartney um, sporty thing. I have some um, sporty pants, so I'm going to do a few more things I have left of a sporty, athletic, athleisure type thing that's going to go in that category. <clears throat> And let's see one more shirt. What will I show you? This is a torrid shirt. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, isn't it? Torrid. Oh yeah, I'm gonna at some point I'm gonna have to speak to you with my British accent. Gigi, did you want Mama to speak to you in a British accent? Did you know? It is with great pleasure, I tell you. While I was sick, I watched the entire season, one and two of The Crown. Yeah, I know. I If you hate it, if you're like, yeah, my ears are bleeding, trust me, my boys are fed up with me and my British attempt at a British accent. Anyway, torrid shirt, semi-sheer, floral, little fluttery ruffles on the side. What else do I got here? CC. Beautiful CC top, pink blush pink. Okay, <clears throat> I am not, I'm probably done. Let me show you just a few, some few pairs of pants I got. So we have hit every category. <clears throat> Gigi Maria. Well, that didn't come out pretty. Um, I have brand new with tags, Miss Me for Kids, Skinnies. Size 8, skinny, miss me, kids. So adorable. They were just like laying there somewhere. I'm like, ah! They were like so cheap. We'll see. We'll see if I can sell them and get some dinero for it. Zara skinny pants. Trafa Luke. So remember how I talked about Zara? This is the lowest, lowest of their lines this is the cheapest made cheapest sold and cheapest so if you're if you're trying to resell zara this is probably the line you want to stay away from i got these for me i love i love stuff with zippers at the bottom so cute yep so these are for me um uh, when you resell them you're not going to price them for a lot at all um, the lines you want to focus on are Zara Collection, Zara Black and White Collection, uh, Zara Basic, um, yeah. Oh, and they have the Zara, like, um, crap. I'll, I'm just going to do the listing for you guys on, um, Instagram because there's now a sustainable line just like H&M has their, um, uh, I forget the names but they're green kind of, you know, they're trying to greenwash their buyers. And so they're, they have their more sustainable line. Those are going to fetch a better penny than the other stuff for sure. <clears throat> All right. One last one. No, one more. I have one more in there. This is a cabby, um, tunic, sweater tunic. I think it's just adorable. Don't you? I don't know if I'm selling it. Don't get excited. All right, one last one. <clears throat> It'll be cute. Cynthia Rowley linen top with French bulldogs. Oh, don't get jealous, GD. French bulldogs. Um, novelty animal patterns sell well. So you can't go wrong with an novelty animal patterns. Now, I'm not going to go through all this, but I wanted to show you I got a lot of LuLaRoe. Word of caution, LuLaRoe does not sell well anymore like it used to, but certain things still do. I got this so cheap that it was a shame for me not to pick it up, and I thought they were pretty regardless of them being LuLaRoe, so I picked them up. I left a lot of stuff behind, but I did pick up a few things that I thought were just 
too cute to pass up. And I love the basics. I love the basic LuLaRoe pieces, you know, and I still wear a lot of dresses, um, but when it comes to plus size LuLaRoe, I won't pass it up for, you know, two, three dollars, because I know on Mercari I can still make some money. Mercari is still a great place to resell it. Poshmark, less so, just because there's so much now. Um, but on uh, Mercari, you can still fetch a good penny, especially in the plus size category. And this happens to be a um, plus size dress made of that really cool, thicker fabric. I know this is going to do well. <clears throat> I have a bunch of other stuff, but I'm not going to show them to you today because my throat is going away. It's dying. Um, let's see. I'll do a lookbook at the end of this entire collection. So I'm not going to do a lookbook uh, tonight. I just wanted to tell you guys I'm here. I'm still alive. <clears throat> Sorry I haven't made videos in a while. I just had not had the voice or I have not had the time. Um, I definitely miss you guys. I'm not going to leave you. Um, some people are giving me a hard time that, you know, like, how dare you? You're like one of those Netflix series that you fall in love with and then you don't come back. I hate you, blah, blah. Yes, I hear you. I love you too. I want to make more videos, but I'll make them when I can, okay? Uh, I have lots of ideas. It's never, I'm never short of topics I want to talk to you guys about. I'm just short of time. And this is a really busy time for me as far as my 9 to 5 goes, so... Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. Okay? Love you all. And I'm going to see if I can grab Gigi just so you guys can say goodbye to her. Uh, give me a second. Here is Gigi. She is getting so big. Look at her. And I have a wonderful announcement to make. Gigi is going to get a sister or a brother in September. Yes, she is. My, um, my man finally decided he will let me, let me have another cat. He did not want to imbalance this household, two females with two boys. And now we're going to bring either a new boy or a female into the picture. So once again, we're going to have an imbalance. Um, but I'm so excited because I'm thinking if they're really playful siblings and they get along well, maybe I'll do a little separate YouTube thing with just them. Wouldn't that be awesome? I, I'm always watching all those cat videos on YouTube. I'm like, wait a minute, maybe I can make some cat videos. So that's like a dream. I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. But I am going to get another cat later this year. So I'm super, super excited. And I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, yeah, she's she's really into opening doors lately, which is really scary because she's start, starting to like dart outside. Oh, it's really, really scary. She's an inside cat and I don't want to lose her. I don't. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway. All right. It was great talking to you guys. Cheers. Hope you're having a wonderful year, start of the year, whatever. Um, talk to you later. Bye.